Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. Tricks to effectively learn foreign language. We got used to think that some people were just born with an ability to learn languages and for some, it is just not their cup of tea. Human's brain may surprise you very much and if you decide on learning to do something or to learn a foreign language, because this is what this post is going to be about, there is nothing what could possibly stop you from doing so unless it is you. How you might ask? Easy, all the limits and fears are in our heads. Once we stop thinking this way and start acting, all the doubts and fears melt like the early snow. We use a small percentage of our brain only. We are used to think that our bodies are cages but do not forget about muscles. Physical exercises help on the way of overcoming those limits we put on ourselves thinking that we cannot do the splits. Do a stretching routine daily and you will see for yourself. Your brain is a muscle too. You can stretch it however you want as well. Of course, not literally but there are mental exercises you should do every day in order to make it flexible just like your body. Learning new things, learning a foreign language is an exercise. There are many different techniques and practices on how to do it with the most effect possible. You choose what you like and follow it. The main rule is to do it regularly. Be patient. You did not learn how to walk on the first day of life, right? Same here. Take your time. It is also important to have a purpose. Why do you need to know a foreign language? Why? Because it will help you on the way to reach your goal. You will think of this purpose maybe having an image of it in your head. The more you think about it, the more persistent in learning you will become. You probably noticed how ineffective is something you do just out of boredom. Start with learning an alphabet. Simple as that. Before learning the words, you need to know how to pronounce each letter correctly. Also, for your information, read the history of the country the language of which you are about to learn. In your native language. Reading also trains your brain. Then go to learning simple words and short sentences. It would be nice if you had a friend, S, a native speaker, so you could talk with him slash her and improve your spoken language. Learning the words, sort them by categories. For example, a kitchen and everything what is in there. You may put flash cards with these words on your refrigerator or take a list with you going somewhere. You may put it out of your pocket while standing in the queue or in the traffic jam. Also, linking languages together might be useful. That is why the more you know the better. For example, you know one foreign language already. Then learning another language and comparing it to the one you already know will help you to memorize the words. In addition, there are so-called true friends which are words meaning and sounding similar to the ones from your native language. They have been borrowed historically. For instance, Italian, French, Portuguese and Spanish have lots in common. Do not be afraid of repetitions. Repetition is mother of learning. Reread what you have been through the day before. Do not make it complicated though and simply start learning with those words, which are the simplest ones otherwise you will be confused and thinking it is too much for you will lead you to where you will think you cannot do it. Think of little scenes, life situations and try to put them into foreign languages, think in foreign language building the conversation or describe the situation in foreign language mentally, and do not be afraid of mistakes. Get ready for them. Many of them. Soon, there will be less and less. Keep trying and you will succeed. About the guest author, Grace Clifford is a writer and blogger. By the way, you can look through her blog at, saeditor.net and will surely find it interesting as long as it concerns important issues. Have fun getting to know new stuff with Grace and enjoy her wonderful writing skills. 
Are you struggling to conceive? You have options, and at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group, we'll make sure you have the guidance and support you need. Preg is known for individualized fertility care that's unique to every patient. We take the time to provide a reassuring and empowering experience because we believe that you deserve nothing less. Let us help you on your journey to parenthood. Visit us at pregonline.com to learn more. Get the guidance and support you need at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group.